This place is the very center of Chinese power and political theater. The Great Hall of the People, heavily securitized, closely watched. And it's been a five year wait since a British foreign secretary was welcomed here. But that changed today. Greetings with the Vice President Hang Zhong cordial enough and a clear desire from both to up their engagement. Talks are now underway and there is a lot at stake. It feels like the Foreign Secretary is coming here to seek something of a reset in the UK-China relationship after a period that's been largely characterized by growing distrust and disagreement. Disagreements that may have been more keenly felt in the day's second meeting. Wang Yi, known for his tough talk and diplomacy, just listened to his subtle critique of more skeptical voices. We've also noticed that from time to time there have been some noises in the Sino-British relationship and some people have even questioned your visit to Beijing. And there is much that now divides them. China's veiled support for Putin's war in Ukraine, aggression towards Taiwan, and of course, human rights crackdowns, both here in Hong Kong and against the Uyghur minority in northwestern Xinjiang. Hello, how are you? Questions Hello. over whether the UK is taking a tough enough stance. I've had a number of conversations with senior representatives of the Chinese government, and I have raised human rights in every single one of those meetings, and I will continue to do so. But raising is not enough, is it? I mean, you know that words in meetings aren't going to change their course on this sort of stuff. You know, why are we not doing more? Uh, uh, but what suggestion would you put forward? Well, for example, you could ban the import of cotton from Xinjiang. We do, of course, have an economic relationship with China, just as the US does, just as other countries uh, do. But where security uh, is at odds with economics, the security will always win out. But there's criticism, too, about muddled policy. Changes in tact between leaders, Liz Truss, pushed to label China a threat. And two damning reports from fellow MPs that are called policy inadequate. The government's policy is confusing and incoherent. That's the verdict of the cross-party Intelligence Security Committee and the Foreign Affairs Select Committee. We have wanted to see a strategic, long-term strategy from the government, but we've, all we've had is confusing, mixed messages. Just around the corner from the British Embassy in Beijing, people were just getting on with their lives, relations with Britain barely landing. But debate is rife about how to deal with the China of today and tomorrow and how to view the challenges it brings. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News in Beijing.